Hey everybody, this is Stuart with Wine on the Dine. And today, I review the last of my Kirkland wines for my alcohol. Stay tuned. Hey everybody, so like I said, this is the last of the wines for my alcohol. I'm a little bit sad about that. But not too sad, because today I'm reviewing the Kirkland Signature 2017 Pinot Noir from the Russian River Valley in Sonoma County, California. It is 13.9% alcohol by volume, and I don't know how much I paid for it because I lost the receipt, so I'll look it up online and I'll post it right here. So, let's get started. Let's do a pour. All right, so from a color standpoint, well, this is a little bit difficult to read. Ah, you're pink. I'm gonna say you're a light ruby. A light ruby. It's not a bad thing. No artifacts, no cloudiness. From a nose standpoint, you are red fruit. You are a lot of red fruit. And some spices. And some earth. So I'm getting red cherry, raspberry. Get overzealous with the swirl. This is what happens. All right, so party foul, anyway. Getting red cherry, raspberry. Um, smells like a little bit of leaves. Just a little bit, a little bit of earth. Cinnamon, clove, kind of like baking spices, like sweet baking spices. That's not, overall not bad. All right, so from a taste standpoint, Lots of fruit. Alcohol peaks out right around the mid palate and continues on and through the finish. Finish is a little hot. Um, the red fruit really hits you up front. Yeah, so it's red fruit up front. And then the alcohol and the baking spices come in and take it away. Um, it's more tannic than I thought it would be. I'm talking about medium tannins. And that combined with the al alcohol and the light body makes it actually um, a little rough, like on the on the, the actual like tongue. It feels a little rough. Um, so from a balance standpoint, uh, you really you really kind of hit hard with one flavor and then kind of meld into the others. The alcohol hits kind of hard, so I don't necessarily think that you're very balanced. From a length standpoint, you have a medium finish. You have a medium finish. Intensity, those, those um, secondary and tertiary notes are, are pretty intense. So is that red fruit right up front. The alcohol is pretty intense too, uh, but the acid isn't high enough. I'm gonna give you half a point for intensity and complexity. You do have a couple layers of complexity, but it's not like it's going on and on and on forever, so I'll give you half a point there. So adding up, um, it kind of gives you a good. I'm gonna give you a good. You're not bad, and yeah, you're, 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 dude, I've had plenty of worse Pinot Noirs, and I, honestly, if you dialed back the alcohol to like 13% ABV or increase the acidity, you, you probably would have fallen into the very good realm. That's a shame. Next time, next time, do that. I, I think it'd be more fun. Anyway, this has been Stuart with Wine on the Dime. If you liked today's video, please like, subscribe, and comment. Have you had the 2017 Pinot Noir from Kirkland Signature, Russian River Valley? It'd be interesting to know if you have. Leave a comment below, and I'll see you guys again soon with another episode from Wine on the Dime. In the meantime, um, go and watch this review in which I used some spray to get red wine stains out of shirts, because uh, that's exactly what I'm going to do right now. I'll see y'all later.